people. Here with my buddy Rob. Always helping me out. You may see him in the chat sometime. Um, Rob's actually building a, a 90 gallon tank stand here with a 55 gallon sump. Uh, with the help, the sump design came from Michael Hoffman. Yeah, Mike Hoffman helped me with the design. So that's great. We got some plans right here. This is what we're going for. He's going to have a little bit of fish, which is this section right here. Then we're going to have an overthrow through a filter sock, which is this which section. Through the baffle. Oh, through the baffle, which let me get a shot of that. Some baffling there. We just siliconed this today. It's still wet. So that's then we can clean it up. That's why the tape's still here. We're waiting to clean up the silicon okay. here. So it goes down through the filter. Through the, through the filter sock. Under. Right? Yeah. Under there. Comes the lava rock area. Up through the lava rock. Or any other Through media. some foam or any other type of media. I'm thinking I'm going to throw the foam right here. Throw some foam in over here. This is an open just for the, uh, this is basically the bubble catch, right? Yeah, except for we expanded it so we can get our hands in so there. So right here on the design, we found it pretty hard to uh, get our hands in there to silicon it. So we need to, we needed to widen that a little bit. And then we thought, well, it's a wasted chamber anyway. It was just for the heater, which is why it was that thin. But now we figure it's already, now it's thicker. So we could use that for even more filter yeah. media and the heater. And then a pump area, which I'm going to have a float safety auto off shift. Goes under there into, yeah, the pump. Where the pump then pumps it up. Back pump, to the tank. Pump into the tank. So over here we have. Oh, this is going to be outside real fast. Sheathing it with a chair rail. And then I'm cutting a window on the sheathing for the fish tank area. So this, if you don't know what you're looking at here, this is going to be the, this is actually the stand. So the half of the sump or three quarter, two thirds of the sump is hidden behind what I'm assuming you have some type of door here. Yeah, that's all going to be held on magnetic. So there's going to be a magnetic plant panel here that yeah. peels back. And then you can see through to the out. fish chamber, the cutout to the fish chamber. And then the 90 will sit right on top of it. And then the 90 is sitting right up on top of this big guy. We picked up this for the chair rail. Which we've been working on. Here's the chair rail that he picked out. Quite intricate, but pretty, worthy. pretty, pretty. Um, yeah, so here's where uh, we've been working on this for what, maybe two hours? Not even. Not even. Uh, but you can see the way we cut it to reinforce. Go ahead, Rob. Yeah, we got double reinforcement so that way the weight is notched out and pushes down right onto this, right to the floor and to the bottom board. And then we added another horizontal just in case for the help support the bottom tank. And right now we're notching out the last two pieces to add in. I've already made my final cut and then a couple of extra crack cuts. Let me put these in, just push back. There we go. All that notch work is done. Let's just clean it up a little bit with the screwdriver and the hammer. Where's the hammer? Here we go. Hammer's over. Way too far out. Uh, good old Stanley. So yeah, what he's doing here is basically chiseling this out because that's kind of like the notch right here. So you want that wood to line up nice and square there. All right. Take the clamps off. Let's get this bad boy down. Um, hopefully. Hopefully. So see how the fits. Um, Might need a little bit. Off the bottom? Yeah, we're uh, about a quarter inch off. Take an eighth first. That looks hammerable. Yeah. So that's so actually the perfect top. fit. So you see the tops in? And 
this is actually what you want. You want it to be a really nice fit like this where you can basically have it stay where you want it without even having to put the screws in. Okay. Ooh, holy crap, I just put Jace down. Okay. Okay. This is the last of it. My baby boy just went down. It was my wife telling me stop Sam, hand. Sam, last cut. <laughs> last cut at all. All right, so she's going to be like, I just told you. Nice quick cut there. I'm trying to be quiet. <laughs> right here. Might have to hold this for you, huh? Oh, no, that might not work. One last mini. Yeah. Need a little cut. It's okay, the saw will be quieter than lots of hammering. Yeah. <laughs> the light. Life of a family man, you got to be done working by the time the kids go to bed. That's better. Nice. Yep, that fits. Yep. So over here. Just a little bit more, huh? No. <laughs> no? You think you're it's just it? that so close in line up. It's got to get both in at the seam. There we go. There, there she goes. Okay. Money. And then the last piece right here, we'll screw this all down. So this is, the whole point of those notches were to hold the weight for this piece. Yeah. Which we need to add. Which, yeah. We need to wedge, add some wedges underneath it to bring it up. So we have some little wedge pieces of wood here. Actually that's what those little, little cutoffs are little perfect cutoffs for. Little cutoffs are perfect for. One thick and one thin. Always got to improvise as you go. Money. 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 So yeah, these little wedges, you could buy these actually, little shims, but... There's no point. There's no point of buying them. Okay. Screw this bad boy down, and then your wife doesn't bitch. Hey, live. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Force a habit. She's going to hear that. No, my wife doesn't watch my videos. <laughs> All right, so the stand is getting done. So as he's screwing this in, I'll kind of give you a look over of the stand. So basically what we did is we started these ends and you can see the four legs are notched out on both sides. And the way you, these notches are very key because in, in no part of this stand are the, is the weight relying on the, screw. on the screws. All the weight is always pushing down on wood. There's always wood on wood on wood. And that's why these notches are awesome because you're always pushing wood on wood on wood. Nothing is supported by the screws. I just need one hand holding something down. All right. Okay, you push as hard as you can on that piece. Uh. You ready? It's not moving. I'm not doing anything. It was actually that little bit of twist added something. There was the downfall in the uh. warpage. Yep. So at Home Depot, there's three dollar wood for two by fours, and here in there's th or in Buffalo, and then there's three dollar and eighty seven cent two by fours. Uh, the expensive ones, well, about eighty seven cents more uh, per two by four, but that adds up. So I always go with the cheap ones and just try to in the store look for the straightest ones. But sometimes, sometimes the wood warps and it just gets to you. Hey, amphibian and fish channel, how are you? Yeah, you're the only one here watching, so I guess you have to be lurking because there's no one to really chat with. 
Someone else doing a live stream right now? Flip, Flip. Live. Flip Live, Aquarium Co-op, Sergeant Tanks, uh, Corvus. Any of those guys live right now? Or does just no one care about my my build? Or everyone knows that my live stream quality generally is fuzzy. I can't wait to go look at this later and see if this is actually coming out pretty good. How's the quality? Is the quality good or is it all fuzzy? Oh. Gunshots. Rough neighborhood. <laughs> That's it. All right, so the stand is completed. Good job, Rob. You too, brother. Good job. That was Four fantastic. Four boards extra. So I guess the live stream is going to come to an end. Um, but I guess before we end, I'll do one more recap. So this was the sump. That was the original plans that we were going for. That's the inside of the sump. This is the outside of the stand that we were building. Um, so from, this is the back side of the sump actually. So we're looking at it in reverse according to the plans. But basically this is where there's gonna be some sort of fish. Rob, yep. Rob doesn't know what kind yet, right? You're something still, that can handle the flow. Still deciding something that is high flow. So if anyone has any suggestions for high flow fish that'll fit in, what would that be? Maybe 20 gallons? That's a good question. Probably about 20 gallons, I'd say. The whole thing's 55 and that's just half. So yeah. yeah, that's pretty close to 20. Probably about 20 gallons over there. But then we're gonna overflow over this baffle. And that's going to take us down into this chamber, which is going to hold what now, Rob? Uh, uh, filter sock. Filter sock. So it's going to go down through this filter sock, come out the bottom of the filter sock, and go under the glass baffle there. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to drop you inside. Dropping you down. But basically, the water can travel under here. Under. Oh, I just put my phone in silicone. Oh. Worst. Oh, oh worst. But anyway, um, said so it goes under there, comes up through some lava rock or whatever media you want, overflows over the top of this baffle, which is the bubble catcher. Yeah. But it also could be used for any other type of media, and that's probably where the heater's going to go. Yeah. Then it's going to go under there and get pumped back up and into the 90-gallon tank that is going to be so, sitting on top of this tank. So the 90-gallon is going to be up here. The sump's going to be under there with the little window to see the 20 gallon little setup he had over there. So, good job, Rob. Good job, Chris. Thank you for your help today. Uh, thank you, and um, Matt Hoffman, or I'm sorry, Michael Hoffman. Uh, for all the ideas. Michael Hoffman for the ideas on the sump, and thank you, Chris Hardy, for the notch designs on the 90 gallon. It looks like Rob's just trying to figure out ways to maybe even make it a little bit stronger without wasting any more room, which it looks like he's stumbled upon a way to do that. Uh, but that will be putting weight on the screws, but it's only a backup, so yeah. why not? It's in the middle. Why not? In case. Ooh, there, see? No. Everything's about innovation here, people. But I guess that's it for this one. Uh, I'm going to help him get this stand into his uh, car. Sump's probably going to stay here overnight since it's wet. We'll see how we'll see how it is. Yep. Uh, but that's it for this one. Later, Fish Fam. Bye, guys.